Battleground Season 4 Meta. Yo, hello everybody, welcome to an interesting topic, as I wanted to kind of go back to this, like last week, I think I did a video before, yeah, actually it was a week ago, funny enough, I did a video like trying to work out uh, preparing, if I'm being brutally honest with myself, it was only, I think 24 hours in the release of the event that made me kind of like question like the the spreadsheet that I made for it, and kind of going, yeah, and I think he even said in the video, like I wasn't in a, like I think about a few days after, I was like, do you know what, I wasn't really there with what I wanted to kind of deliver from a quality standpoint. I think I'll, I'll learn these lessons, I think, next season, is that when I go to prepare, like, I'll try and think more outside the box. And when I'm thinking about quite narrow-minded ways, kind of think, well, look, expand your thought process and kind of look to, to creating stuff like this or what other people have uh, produced. So um, I'll put a few links in the description to people that have created infographics and things because there's tons, really. Uh, this one was really cool. I saw this uh, the other day, uh, produced by Pedro on the forums, uh, which uh, has a load of uh, defense counters. So uh, when the enemy is kind of posted there, then you kind of have a, a load of uh, counters for it and I kind of thought this was a really good approach not to say that this will be every single champion you face off against and look it takes time for this like uh, Pedro produced this yesterday and uh, or the day before um, and it's like wow that's you know that's taken nearly a week to produce something like this and, and think that's the problem it, trying to make like videos or content new for graphics it's like well people need it now and they need it quickly but Still, if you spend a bit of time and you produce something that's really good, which is this is really good, then this can be really effective. So uh, from a counter standpoint, link is in the description to uh, to this. Well, this was great. Uh, likewise, shout out to Gazi and also Toto Paul, who are two friends from France who uh, work together on an idea for a uh, little tier list. And link is in the description if you do want to check out this uh, this kind of like infographic tier list, which just kind of again goes over like uh, armor break champions. It's got armor break champions like there it's got uh, options that absorb reflect back it's got um again so many kind of like other things reduction champions um yeah you name it like it's, it's a real kind of like helpful uh extent of list helpful counters like stuff like that oh and at the same time i just found a link to uh pedro's twitter that's always incredibly handy i should make sure to kind of give him a follow and a, as well do a, a retweet of this but uh, yeah there we go to make a mention. Also, Mr. King has done exactly the same. Like another, like a lot of people are doing this. I mean, it's, it's great when these kind of things come out and it's incredibly helpful. So yeah, a link to all these people in the description. Uh, I just want to go over like my experience of the season so far, especially with a little bit of footage and, and stuff like that. So in actuality, I have only just started. Um, is it, I don't know, I think I'm starting earlier than I normally do. I'm all about like uh, two weeks in then starting uh, but mainly for me it's just all about getting involved with the battlegrounds objectives getting them done that's kind of like one of the main things uh, and so far it's been okay i am thinking about changing some stuff around and kind of uh, playing about with my normal deck but also kind of switching it down to maybe a, a lower grade deck especially from a point of view of going well i want to try maybe some five stars and see how that works i've heard a few people say like have you tried it out it's actually quite good at the moment so i may do that i'm always up for giving something a try you know to see if anything works a lot of champions i've been throwing in and we'll talk about and i'll showcase some footage in a minute of uh, just some like things that have gone well talk about some stuff that's gone bad and stuff like that um a lot of this deck has included a lot of champions that have armor or um things that i need like uh well angela was always a normal one in there but she has um the armor buff juggernaut because easy rotation of heavy attack and doing stagger Captain America, Cat Wilson, because he's got the armor up buff. Magneto is always a definite, in regardless of the meta. Colossus is always in there, regardless of the meta. But yeah, having those armor up buffs really helps. Venompool, because he's immune to, uh, to power control elements and stuff against techs. Was that? No, that's Venom. That's standard Venom. Uh, he's not in there for some reason. Oh, that's because I've only got the five-star version. I would like the six-star version. Guillotine 2099 is always in there, but the armor up buff is very handy. I'm an Infinity War because he's a pain in the butt, and it's good that he's in there. Uh, and I guess, I think he does play around the meta as well in some regards. Silver Centurion because of the armor up buff and also being a bit of a pest. 
Um, who else? Cosmic Ghost Rider is defensive option as opposed to offensive, but um, I can balance between the two of them. Uh, Hulkling's annoying uh, as well, and obviously he's in there. He's one of my new additions um, at a rank four uh, velocity, uh, and he's doing kind of great bits there. Gore, of course, uh, whether defense or offense, can be a great option. Spider Man 29, of course, because he can play about different things. Uh, Gallon, um, uh, I think we just skip past Nimrod. Nimrod's another one like that. Uh, I gotta be honest, I'm, I'm fine with that deck, and it's kind of like uh, been either, yeah, you know, it's been performing well enough for me. It is just a bit too strong around the uh, the cosmic and tech and mystic line, but the, I need a lot more. I think I've added in like a couple more mystics than I normally had because of staggering that armor up buff and kind of looking at those particular things of issues. But in any case, let's go over some of the footage and I'll just kind of react to stuff that we see on screen right now. So I had an absolute mare against this null, but Silver Centurion, I think with that armor up buff, uh, I don't know what happened right here, but you know, um, did the business, got me the win. Here, I got dropped inputs. The amount of dropped inputs I've had has been absolutely just soul destroying and just ruined it um and but here's a surprising thing and again i don't know whether or not this player had uh, kind of uh, less options than normal to go against this uh, colossus uh, of mine but you know that colossus has got um, lots of um, armor up buffs so therefore his kind of reflective well not reflective power burn ability is going to be more frustrating than others so that's going to be that's another thing as well maybe I, i'd love to get a tumor i think a tumor with this meta would be absolutely soul destroying Personally, I got a lucky win there. I, I think I got a lucky win. Well, maybe it was just it was just good playing into the meta. I'm not 100% sure. And kind of getting that win was kind of like, oh, that was something, which is great. Here, another example. Play trash against uh, this um, uh, APOC, but Guillotine 20 into 9 coming for the win. Also, something that's quite cool is this. I'm going to showcase this full fight because it's King Groot. It's one of, it's, he's my G. And uh, yeah, as normally with Spider Ham or any kind of like annoying kind of champion where you've got to like go slow, which I'm kind of like slow and steady wins the race with this one. This for me is all about keeping your champion to 100 percent so you're gonna see right at the top there i'm playing this slow and steady people may say oh no this is not how you meant to play blah 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 uh, no this is what i'm doing parry and then go into a special attack because i don't want to kind of uh, get an evade sting if the champion evades right chances are it's going to absolutely clatter me so i'm playing this slow and steady i'm just going to like chill in a little bit i'm kind of going into watching out for spider sense i'm doing parry heavy and also just waiting for more rotations around my regeneration to get it back up to a hundred percent which is going to be incredibly helpful in a second because that health um bonus that i get for kind of being 100 percent is going to be the thing that saves the day the player i'm going up against had an amazing idea to use venom pool against the meta which i chose i think he chose venom pool against um yeah champion we'll see in a minute i, I can't i can't remember i'll have to see you in the footage but you can see slow and steady wins the race 100 percent health i end on and that's completed perfect love it yeah i use silver centurion as a defense option they very cleverly use venom pool that 100 percent saved my butt so that just goes to show you sometimes it's not all about how quick you do it it's all about sustainability survivability and that's the way to go baby medusa oh man this was cool obviously using medusa i got a six i'm very lucky to have a six star medusa i've got awakened and she's an absolute beast especially because i can play in a very aggressive sense and especially of going up against a champion that um you know like warlock or any kind of tech that has any kind of armor build very quickly and the great thing about this is rotation wise i'm just going to able to go go in and then look at that just chaining in boom right there get a good i've been getting consistent parries with that that was when i get good inputs sometimes you get terrible inputs and it ruins your day here's a different scenario going up against um a medusa and just kind of making sure i suppress all of that uh all that annoying armor so that was good to suppress that and uh yeah like going up against that there's a thing meta is that armor up because it does the power burn and because it can be quite annoying but at the end of the day it's getting that w um and i've as i said like i've had i've just started my kind of like endeavor into it i've had some good times i've had some bad times i've had some iffy times i've had some weird times that have resulted in wins or weird times that have resulted in losses it is what it is you take is it take it as you go with it um but yeah um just wanted to do a little video showcasing some options also showcasing my kind of like current experience into it i've only just started that's the thing i've only just started uh, i'm still in victory track still going strong um but as i said i don't normally start into two weeks in so it's a rarity i'm starting now but objectives gotta get them done how was yours 
how has your endeavour into um, Battlegrounds been this season? Are you not doing it? Are you kind of like working on something else? I know for me, I'm kind of interested in going back to Grandmaster Gauntlet. And that may be something I do next. We'll have to see. But in any case, thanks for watching. Check out some other content located on screen. I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.